can you touch your stomach, sister? You, there's a spirit that is blocking whatever you are trying to do. Live Live Rise up. Were you trying to do business? Were you trying to do business? Yes, daddy. Eh? Yes, daddy. But there's no movement. Yes, daddy. I touch your stomach. <laughs> and you are, you are crying to Mary. You are also crying to Mary. Uh, daddy told me that I've uh, been trying to do business and my business has not been prosperous, and that is very true. I've tried to, to do business and it hasn't been prosperous. This was affecting me, uh, both physically and spiritually, I may say, because uh, many a times, I don't know, maybe, uh, 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 how do I put it now? You know, when you don't have finances, you don't see anything come. I would like to tell them that even if they are watching, if they're not able to come here, if the D, if the D utters a word to somebody, they should take it as, as, as though it's being uttered to them and they, they should take it and run with it. You are free. I want to pray for someone here. It's you. Bring him. I'm praying for you so that you believe that ministry is all about hearing from God. And if God speaks, therefore, he will give you the power. Amen. Then to say, hey, Lord, give me the power, give me the power. I mean, stop praying that prayer and believe that God has anointed you today. In Jesus' name. Let me see you. Where are you? You are anointed. Come to me, run now. Where is your friend? There's a pastor who's a friend to you. He's in Davidson. Eh? In Run Davidson. to me. You are anointed. I'm just praying for you so that you believe this power that God is giving you. Are you hearing me? Amen. Because you, you have never fallen this way. And you're asking yourself questions. Uh, confirm the prophecy to be true. The man of God declared me and to be anointed. He said, I've been doubting that I can also be anointed in that way. But today he declared that I'm anointed with extra anointing. I'm so excited because I've been making this prayer that God must locate me today. So I will say today, it is my day. Uh, I will encourage all of you all over the world that if you're looking for a solution, if you need anything from the Lord, believe that there is nothing God cannot do for you. Come to Charis and you'll find the solution. We need to pray for a baby. Are you ready? Amen. Eh? Amen. You must pray for a baby. Amen. Because the devil wants to shame you concerning the baby. Yeah, it's true, Dave. Eh? It's true. He wants you to lose this baby. It's true. Eh? It's true. We must really pray. Amen. Because I'm seeing very strange things. In fact, initially I saw the blood. You understand? Yes. Uh, I saw this lady losing blood. So yes. I was questioning what is happening. So. This baby must live. Amen. You know what I'm talking about? Can you confirm? I, I know, Daddy, because she's always complaining about pains, pains. Concerning the issue of pregnancy. Yes. The attack is on the baby. And this thing, when it happens, uh, you people here, your relationship is affected. It's true. You find that you're no longer understanding each other. It's true. Eh? So God loves you. Let me pray for you. 
and from Yes, I can confirm the prophecy to be true because my wife is always complaining about pains, 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 always. Ever since she was, she was pregnant, she was always saying, I'm not feeling well, I'm not feeling well in my stomach. Uh, it affected me very much because uh, even my prayer life sometimes goes down, up and down, because when someone is sick, there's no way that you can feel right. No, I believe that uh, God has delivered me and my wife and my child will live. Uh, the word of encouragement to the viewers all over the world, I can say, believe in God and believe that uh, the spoken word of the man of God will never, uh, it will never put you to shame. Every, every man of God, when he speaks, we must believe that uh, is God speaking through them. Uh, and we must believe whatever that they are telling us and believe in that whatever they are telling us will come to pass. Amen. There's a pastor here. Brother, God wants to use you. Eh? He wants to use you, but Amen. you are very much confused Amen. about your calling. Amen. Yeah, because there's nobody who's around you. Yes, ma'am. Eh? Yes, daddy. You are, you are asking many questions, uh, especially about the issue of fathering. Yes, daddy. You are, you are asking questions about who can tell me my calling. Yes, daddy. Eh? Yes, daddy. This is a prayer you have been praying for years. Amen. Daddy. Eh? Yes, daddy. But God will tell you, I want to pray for you so that you find yourself. In Jesus' name. Yes, you understand? Daddy. Yes, daddy. Eh? Yes, daddy. So, were you not try to do business before? I tried, I think. But there was no way out. Nothing will come. But even today, you are asking yourself whether you can go back to business yes. or the ministry. God yes. wants to use you. Yes. God wants to use you. As I pray for you, the anointing will fall upon you. You are free. There's a dream you have dreamed uh, of a servant of God. Yes, yes. You remember? Yes. True, true. Eh? true but true. he was anointing you. Yes, yes, yes. But you were asking yourself, how are you going to reach him? Yes. Eh? Yes, true. So that servant of God is me. Yes, it was you. Eh? It was you. It true did. It was you. So I want to pray for you because Thank you are you asking Jesus. yourself questions Thank about you your Jesus. calling. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So let me just open your ears. Because he, he dreamed a servant of God anointing him. Later when he say he said, ah, it's Makaranisa. Uh, eh? It's true. Eh? It was you. It's true. I dreamed. You are anointed. <laughs> but, listen, you are not anointed to rush to go and start ministry. Yes, yes. You understand? Yes. Yes. Allow God to speak with you when you are submitting yourself. I understand. God bless you. Thank you so much. So I'm from Johannesburg. Oh, the professor I received is that a um, man of God told me that I've, I had a dream. There was a man of God was anointing me. So that was the truth. I had a dream uh, two days back. I even told my, 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 my pastor at my church that I have dreamed man of God anointing me. As I came here, Apostle told me exactly the dream that I dreamed and he told me that that man of God was him and he anointed me. I'm so happy. I feel that God is in work. God is using man of God. He's, he, he's very powerful. He's, 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 I don't know how to explain, but I'm so excited. I'm so happy because it was my desire all of the time to, un, to have an anointing because I have a desire to work for God and man of God heard from God and I was praying there that man of God, he must come to my life and prophesy and tell me what God must I do show me direction. A man of God prayed for me and opened my spiritual ears so that I can hear from God. A word of encouragement to the viewers that a man of God is, is a true man. Uh, in the Bible, there was a time that Hezekiah have to interpret the, the, the dream of uh, Nebuchadnezzar. I feel it was the same thing to me because the, the, the apostle never told him about my dream but he just told me the dream and interpreted the dream so i will encourage he's the man of god and the god of charis it's in works
Hey, can you come hey. Hey. You must pray for you. So that you must not do what your father did. Amen. Eh? Amen. Because remember, your father was living like this. Amen. And then you, you want to go straight. Amen. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, yes, eh? yes. I don't want to talk more than that. I want to pray for you. So that when you must never lose the focus. Amen. Eh? Amen. Yeah, because let me, let me touch you. You are free, but listen to this. You must fight a spirit of lust. Amen. Eh? Amen. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. God loves you. Amen. Yes, uh, Apostle prophesied me that uh, uh, I'm always trying my best to live a right life because of, of my father was not living a right life, my spiritual father, and then I'm trying by all means not to live that life that he was living. No, I was not expecting any mention again. Another thing that he prophesied that the spirit of lust, that I have to be careful of spirit of lust. I was not expecting, uh, uh, but, but uh, I, I wanted to be prayed for, to be delivered from all those things so that I may live a rightful life for God. That lust will always come. Sometimes I'll feel just like that lust will come. Sometimes just like feeling lusty. And then I will always even tell my friend, you know what, uh, there is this lust and then there is, there is those, that, that thing that the devil was doing so that uh, maybe I can go and do silly things. I feel free and then I feel uh, because of I know that uh, when, he have, uh, when he have located me, all things, they are, I'm delivered, I'm free, all things, all, all those things, they are gone. Uh, all, uh, what I can tell the viewers is that uh, they must come to Sharis for their deliverance because of it's what me I came for, for their deliverance. And uh, there is a man of God that God used for deliverance. He can deliver them. Even all the pastors and all the men of God, all the children of God, all of them, if they need deliverance, they must come to Sharis. The issue of marriage is difficult for you yes, to get true. to marry. Yes, yeah, it's true. Eh? It is true. Because I'm seeing you try to establish a relationship to bring marriage, but it's tough. That's true. Eh? So I want to pray for you. You will make it. Thank and you, also, you will make it in your career. Thank you, Ted. You understand? Because that's how you dream. You always dream yourself going back to your career. Your idea now is young people, young people now. That's true. You want to help young people. It, it, it will happen. It will okay. happen. Amen. I saw this lady sleeping down. You are sick. Huh? Yes, yes, it's true. You are very sick. I am. The doctor said I must do an operation. You must do a pressure. Yes. You won't do a pressure. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Thank you. You won't do a pressure. You are free. You are free. Come, my brother. Who is a drunkard? Are you not a drunkard? Yes. I'm eh? Yeah, I drink. Are you not drinking beers? Yeah. I, eh? used, I used to drink. I can't hear? I used to drink. When did you stop? Uh, Yesterday. You stopped yesterday. Yeah. Eh? Yes. You stopped yesterday. Uh, I didn't stop, sir. You didn't stop, yeah. but you want to say you used to. Yes. I'm serious, a drunkard. You need to stop this thing. Okay. Because that is a weapon that devil is using. You won't be blessed yes. as you are carrying on drinking. Let me touch you. You need to accept Jesus. Are you hearing me? Do you want to accept Jesus? Yes. Eh? Yes. Because you're a drunkard. Yes. I say you're a drunkard. Yes. Eh? Yes. Sometimes you don't know, you don't care what to drink. You drink everything. Yeah. Eh? Yes. God loves you. Uh, it's disgusting, my friend, today because instead of getting prophecy, Pastor, he just told him that oh, I'm drunk, I must stop drinking. And that's really, uh, I drink. Yeah. But from now on, I will fix my problems. I know that 
It's a big assignment. I have to fix myself. Any words of encouragement to those that are watching? Uh, it's not good to drink, especially to us as a young guys. And you are drinking inside, you are going to church. You are things is not going to go in the right way. You must focus in a one thing. You rather pray than you leave a lot of things. Yes. When I'm looking at your hand, just come on. You are beginning to have problem with the hands. You are beginning to have problem with this hand. I haven't realized that. You have it. not realized that? No. Where is your husband? I believe he's here. Yeah? I believe he's here because he said you will follow Call me. Call him. Iobe. This attack that you have with your husband financially, you are down, down, down. And it's I'm true. Eh? It's very true, Dad. Eh? It's very true. That's the reason why you came. You cannot come here unless you attack this way. Call your husband. Iobe, please come. Stop being afraid. Stop being afraid. Jesus loves you. Where is he? Because I'm hearing you arguing about money. Money, money, money. I don't have money. I don't have money. This man always says he doesn't have money. I want to pray for him. Let's see if God won't bless your family. Where is he? Where is your husband? Call him. God loves you. Eh? Don't worry. I saw what Satan is trying to do to attack you people. Yes. And it will change this thing. Yes, well, it, 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 you know, you know what I was talking about. Yes, you are aware. She told you. Yes, she told me. Yes, and here you are struggling financially. Yes, true. That's things, true, Daddy. Things were not like this. Now everything went down to zero now. That's true, I'll Daddy. Pray Thank you, Father. Huh? Thank you. Thank you, Daddy. God Thank loves you. you. I'll Thank pray you, for Daddy. you. Let me pray for you. You are blessed.